How has better understanding how to negotiate advanced your career? At, at some point in my career, I thought the idea of negotiation when I was maybe younger and a little bit more stubborn and uh, hot-headed uh, and, and probably less physically, mentally, and uh, emotionally in tune with myself, I thought that negotiation meant just pushing somebody over. Just push, push, push until I get my way. And now I realize that uh, what it really is about is uh, everybody feeling, hey, we found something together, it's good, it may not be 100% of what I wanted, I know it's not 100% of what the other guy wanted, but it's a good center. It's a good meeting point between the two and we've agreed upon it and we're gonna make something happen together. If, if I'm negotiating between two sides or in effect if I'm mediating uh, or if I'm, if I'm negotiating with someone else, I need to know where all the different players in the room are. Where are they going? You know, what exactly do they want? What are they willing to do to get there? Um, and maybe uh, would they be willing to bend a little bit? Uh, having a little bit of background information is certainly very important. Um, and in the end result is Usually, I can't think of an example where this is not the case. What you're negotiating for is usually a really good thing. Something that helps the community move forward or helps a project move forward, whatever the case may be. So if I can figure out where uh, the different players are and be savvy enough, almost like a fox or a rabbit or some kind of animal that scurries around, uh, a scurrying animal of some sort, if I can be savvy like that and think, okay, I want to help get them here, help them feel comfortable about getting them to this point, this resolution point, um, how can I do that? And let everybody feel like they won a little bit. Uh, to me, that's, that's an effective way of negotiating.